We, we really were looking for ways to, to help out in our community, especially in our immediate neighborhood. And, and this seemed to be a way that we could really reach out. Linda Stafford, uh, one of the ladies in our church, was the original contact and, and brought the, the health department here and, and we went through the church and they explained what they wanted to do and we thought this would be a way we could really reach out and, and, and be part of the community. My first thought was, wow, what are we bringing in? And the more I started thinking about it and looking at it, it's like, wow, how can we help our neighborhood and our community? You know, what a, what a witness to them to show how we being God's people can reach out and help them. You know, if, if we're not taking food to their door, but yet we're bringing a service to them or, or having a service available that they can come and get it. I just think it's a great help to the people right around here. I believe as a community it's very important because churches, typically people know where churches are and don't have a problem with going to a church for any kind of treatment. I also think that most of the time church members are very willing volunteers and are able to stand up these uh, clinics uh, at a moment's notice. Uh, if we know there's a need, we always have volunteers there. I think it's a very important way to reach a great number of people, especially people in need. And we um, are very grateful that the Holy Spirit has led us to be able to provide um, giving services to the community. And what better way to provide not only spiritual care, but actually health care um, in conjunction with our uh, community here in, in Fort Wayne. Initially, when they first talked about um, putting together the community care center, um, it seemed like an enormous task to, to try to reach or to, to pull together. But it was awesome to see how the Board of Health had things um, planned. Um, each person that served uh, on this community care uh, committee, or we were all able to feel comfortable about our, our individual roles, and that helped to organize things very well, and it, it actually turned out very nicely, um, I think, because we were all very well prepared. In this drill, we tested, uh, you know, basically how to go ahead and set up uh, uh, a center like that, uh, also the, uh, the way that traffic flow would uh, be routed and uh, the amounts of paperwork that was needed to uh, track and document the uh, medicines that were given out. And I think it went fairly well. There was very few problems, uh, and I think that if the... Uh, you know, we continue to drill this, we'll, we'll get all the, the minor little glitches that we had worked out, but it went uh, fairly well for being tried the first time. Well, I think everybody has something to bring to the table in an emergency. And, uh, you know, they don't necessarily have to be a trained police officer, firefighter, or board of health technician, uh, or, or EMT. Uh, the fact that, you know, they could, they could set up cones, they could, uh, uh, build traffic lanes to put the cars in, they could uh, help tape off areas, uh, they could act as runners for the technicians as they needed more uh, meds to be dispensed. Um, the, uh, the efforts that the volunteers put into this, uh, even though they weren't trained, they did a, they did a very, very good job. You know, we weren't as busy as we could have been. It wasn't like a, a pandemic flu or something where we would be really just, just bombarded with people. But what it did do, it allowed us to learn hands-on what our task would be. Uh, we somewhat shadowed the members of the health department, uh, all the groups that came in to help. And we had a group of, of young men and women who are pharmacists who helped us with paperwork. We had nurses come in, and we had our own nurses that are from our church. And it really worked out well because we got to see some things hands-on. And I'm not sure how everybody else learns, but I, I thought it went wonderfully to really do a lot of our training that way. So aside from the training that we, that we had in class, this was, this was the best that it could have been. But I think it was good in that we learned a lot. Um, we learned that we probably needed a few more parking people. Uh, that was something that we had not anticipated. Uh, we learned that we would probably have to have just a few more nurses 
in order to make things run a bit smoothly. Um, it was wonderful having the Board of Health here because they were able to go with us and explain our positions to us, teach us what to look for. And I think that um, all of us that were involved feel very confident in being able to do this again. You know, overall, I think it was a great success. And there's little things that every time we do it or work at it, I think we can tweak things here and there. But it, those are all minor. What made you come out for your flu shot? Uh, because we learned about it in church, and we thought we'd just help out with it. I'm not, what church I'm I'm not up this well, church, I'm, I have What did you think of the train. setup? How it was put together? Uh, very convenient. Did you anything that we could do better? Well, it seems to me it was pretty well thought out. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I wonder if you could tell me what you thought about this flu clinic today. Oh, that, this is very convenient for anybody that needs it, absolutely. This, hopefully this will be a beginning of a new era, huh? What did you think of the setup, how it's set up? Uh, everything seemed organized, everybody was nice and cooperative, okay. worked out real good. Is there any, anything we could do better? I couldn't think of any. Okay. You guys are the professionals. <laughs> This concept is so very important, and hopefully we'll have other uh, congregations, community care centers around the area, so that when there is a pandemic, as we all know there will be, that you know we can get the proper medications, equipment, or such things to people as we need them. So I'm happy to be a part of it and um, hope that I can serve. In Scripture, our Lord always has a way of, of healing people and bringing them to, to good health so that, so that they can serve. And, and that's what we do as well. We, we are here to, to bring people's physical condition to a point where they are, they are still servants. And, and that's what the Scriptures teach us every day. If there's anything I could take away that we could build on, it would be taking this particular exercise, this successful venture, and getting other churches, other organizations, other community groups to participate, to watch, to learn, and then to try to replicate that. Um, because what I saw that Saturday morning was a model that worked. Uh, whether it was our partners at the state level, at the local level in city government and county, from the health department, uh, from the local church, and from the neighborhood themselves, everything really went together well. Despite being a cold, windy, rainy morning, um, things went surprisingly smooth, and I think it's a model that can be used all over the community. I would suggest that they go to their congregation and open it up and, and let the hearts of the people really, really be felt. Because I, I truly believe that in our churches we are here to serve. And this is a wonderful way to serve. This is a way to serve your community. And again, we always hope we never have to do it for real, for a true pandemic flu situation. But if it does happen or if another emergency happens, we are some of the people, uh, the Christians in our community are the people that we hope will step out and really be there. And I would, I would suggest that they, they really take an interest in it and, and get the people involved.